So, evening has fallen on Central Apodeme and the uh, Baker Family Bakery. I almost said the Tanya Family Bakery. (laughs) Um, That'd be cute. Not incredibly inaccurate. Uh, Marish, your uh, grandmother has sort of talked you into calling off of your shift and spending some time. She like sort of saw a little bit about what was happening with like how you were talking to Strel uh, and and how you were like being friends with these people. And, and there's a little bit of like, you hang out with me and work a lot, like spend some time here. But she went home. Um, my only other question is after school, would you guys, have your, as you're sort of hanging out into the evening, have invited Nevin? I, I mean, since Nevin now is apparently in on in everything, I imagine Nevin would f- like make sure she's part of it. Oh, and... like not taking no for an answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that like because yeah. now I'm in hot water. Like if I if I keep trying to lie to her, Nevin's gonna be like, no, Rory. Mm-hmm. Like, so I think <laughs> she still is probably the shyest, and and is a little bit, excuse me, like wallflower up against the back um, serving table mm-hmm. here where you keep all the um, like uh, creamer and sugar and stuff for coffee. Um, but yeah. she's in the room as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what are you guys talking about? <laughs> well, Tanya tells Nevin that she's a revenant and probably is going to die soon. Okay, so we'll, Nevin we'll has a really hard time with that. Yeah. yeah, so so we're probably off in the corner holding like cuddling like and like crying a little bit and then like Tanya like like has like a little cake and it's like yeah I'm sorry, you know, like that kind of thing. So um yeah. <sighs> and um Strel. Hey, How are you doing? Uh, well, to be honest, it feels really good to be like away from the old musty smell, but I can't say these teens smell any better. Listen, I smell like flour and Rory, shut well, up. Actually, not at fish, the moment. So. Please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. You are not doing all right. I mean, Look, it's hard being cooped up with all the old people, and then Sly had to like come back into my life again, and that's a whole thing. Yeah. And I, so, like, look, it's fine. Thanks for bailing me out and getting me involved, but like, don't need. I'm gonna be all right, okay? Stuart died. Do I know Stuart? You'd probably, so. you'd, you'd, you'd probably know of him through through uh, Aelin's okay. Aelin's tales. Uh, I'm I'm real sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, he was human, though, right? Yep. Yeah. It's hard to lose those. Happens every time, unfortunately, and. Uh... <sighs> hard. But another, what, 300 years of this to deal with? No? Look, if, uh, if you don't think about it, then, uh, <laughs> then, it's, then it's just fine, you know? Kind of hard to do when you've just come from the funeral, Strel. Would you like a, would you like a pencil? These are pretty good. I'm good. Uh, yeah. Uh, look as someone who who has a bit of a complex relationship with those who are mortal or more mortal I guess you just you gotta just take it in stride they're says you like they're all just threatening specs. to flip a table amongst some old humans using them cheating at bridge look. or poker or whatever it was you were Look, just because it doesn't matter doesn't mean I can't have fun with it, you know? 
Aelin gives Strell a hug. And this is rare. Aelin never <laughs> hugs anybody. Yeah, Aelin Strell's not like a super huggy person, but she can tell he kind of needs it and kind of like leans into it for a second. And then does that like, you know, the super masculine pat pat kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, fist, the like, Aelin, yeah, just Aelin like, does, oh, Aelin does yeah, the same. No. For sure. Mortality, man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, uh, and it's fine. Yeah, and seriously, you have the same kind of feelings. You come to me, all right? I will. I'm not great with it, but I'll be there for you. you know? you're, I mean, you've been, you've been you... a stellar colleague and friend. Stroll's kind of like struck by that, um, and you can kind of tell she's. That was a little bit more sentimental <laughs> than she was expecting, and she probably hasn't heard anything like that uh, in gives, in a long give, time. Gives gives holds holds his fist out for Strail for a fist bump. She like balls up her fist, gives a Don't little punch smirk. it too hard. You'll break my wrist. <laughs> Punches it just enough to deal you like a solid hit point of damage. Wow. <sighs> One twenty sixth of your life. Um, <laughs> yes. In the meantime. Uh, Rory and Mirish, were you yeah. Mirish asking for like a recap? Or yeah, I, I think I had like wandered over to Mirish as soon as I saw Aelin and Strel start to talk, and I'm just like recounting uh, like things that happened the first heist that we did. Uh, so so yeah, Mirish. Um, see, we went upstairs and there was like this little vending machine, and we got these really cool tattoos. And you know, normally oh. I mean I'm like 18, I I don't need tattoos, but these were these are so cool. Um, and there, okay, well, wait, there was a there was a bomb. Right, there was a bomb, and we we're trying to disarm the bomb. And and I teleported inside, and hit somebody, and then, whoosha! Did ta some tattoo magic. Oh, it was so cool. Well, what type of tattoos were these? I, oh, I they were just like temporary tattoos. Like it's gone now. It's gone. Oh, all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. And and then what? Um, I mean, th I mean then we we got the bomb and. I actually don't know what happened to the bomb after that. Uh, How? We, we what? went back to the Why? person who... Strail, you're allowed Why? to tell him if you... Because you do know what happened, but... It's up to you. You're muted. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if you would, uh, though. I'm... Yeah, no, yeah. Strail would, after, like, having this uh, little sentimental moment with, with Aelin, would, uh, would probably try to, like, join the next available conversation to try and, you know, first... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, mm, mm, feels gross. Um, yeah. <laughs> and would be like, oh, the bomb? Yeah, no, I, bomb. I know what happened to the bomb. If you want to know, what? I'm what a little, I'm a little, the... Yeah, I'm a little curious. I'm still, uh, I still cannot fully wrap my head around the fact that you've gone to do a heist with Strell, and there was what? Okay, yes, tell me everything. I mean, we. So I was recruited by by Trey, and I, I didn't know if Strahl was going to be there. They, I just kind of got approached one day. Um, I didn't even know what the job was. I just, I just we needed money, right? And mm. and who is Trey? Well, Trey is my, my friend and manager. Uh, they kind of, they kind of help find all my gigs, you know? Okay, and then there was a bomb. What happened to the bomb? Uh, yeah, snacks, just just as like a, because my memory is kind of crappy too. Um, me and Strella are like that. Um, we the bomb was given to another family, right? The Del Ramona family. Yeah, it was given to the Del Ramonas. That's what I thought, but mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure. Um, and Trey told you that they used it to like blow up a military outpost slash town in the western part of the continent, like far, far away. That's right. Um, yeah, no, so uh, we we took it from them, so, you know, they couldn't blow up the city, and uh, and then uh, it was distributed to the Del Ramones, and, um, and they Wait. had some business in another town and took care of it. Yeah, Wait, that I, was I a thought, great decision, wasn't it? I thought the bomb was going to be disarmed. It was. It was disarmed. Hey. It, was, it was no longer like harming the city. Is that? It was the devil. We, but then why did they want? Uh, yeah, you know that that's who you were working for on the first heist, like second hand. Blew Trey, up the Trey city. made that pretty clear. 
Oh, I don't think Strell said that part out loud. Oh, I didn't. I just said uh, they had business in another town and they took care of it. Um, what kind of business? Political, obviously. See, this is why I didn't want to get wrapped in with cool what activity. Is, what political is this business you do you solve with a bomb? Uh, I mean, there's a... Yeah, it's one of the reasons I'm wanted. You can ask the kid about it, but it's all his fault, really. Wait, so, wait, so what am I wanted for exactly? I thought we were just wanted for breaking in. We Are we wanted for, like, something really I bad? I think so. Have you said... Would anyone I mean, have a copy of those two posters? I so, think that would be uh, the sort of thing that Aelin would have been like, hmm, Yeah, I don't curious. know that we've talked about the charges that are against... Yeah. Uh, I, I kind um, of assumed Aelin that the charge they wouldn't be like... Dorian Strell. Break it, breaking I, I, and entering and thievery or some nonsense. There's a... Um, so in, in the sort of um, strange uh, middle fantasy tech world that Daybreak City lives in, there are these wizards who go around and enchant these like bl pl blank boards to like show whatever. So there's not like physical posters. It's just that like the same things show up uh, and it's wanted for questioning. Mm. Like, it's not like these people did Ominous. this. It's right. like, oh, you know, give us information okay. about them. We need to bring them in to ask them some questions type thing. I, right. I think okay, Rory, okay. Would, Rory would be assuming that like the only really th bad thing he did was break it in place. Um, and that's and that's what he would be seen doing. So not the murder. The the uh, yeah the idea of like a larger scale thing that like oh we want to be questioned because something really bad came out of this. That's what's shocking to him, or that's what's like oh this is even worse than I thought. Pot potentially. It's really not that bad, kid. Like yeah we're, we're we're wanted and and you know I've been in hiding like deep cover, uh, but like. This will all blow over in no time. Trust me. The last time I asked you to trust, last time you asked me to trust you, you jumped I out the her. window and left me to die. <laughs> die. I like this kid. She's got spunk. Yeah, okay. right. I do. Mira, seriously though, <sighs> don't, don't don't trust her. She's not she's not reliable. Rory, it's useless. This is useless. Rory, so wait, I, you... I know, I know. she saved my life three times. Just we're gonna put that out there. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so, I saved so a what good they... number of lives, kid. What did they do with the bomb? Uh, they had business in another city, and they took care of it. Can I roll an insight check to be like taking care of business with a bomb? He's blowing up a city. I mean, I don't know that you're going to be able to suss out the I'm details, but you can absolutely roll an insight check to see if you can um, read Strel. Um, <clears throat> and you can roll deception if you want to. Um, yeah. Ooh. Uh, my charisma is not great. Okay. That'll do it. A nice 16. <laughs> <laughs> probably good for Tanya. Yeah, it's probably a healthy thing not to know. Okay, so I'm um, having having uh, sort of been convinced that this is a safer part of town for you guys, and it getting pretty late. I think um, everybody decides to kind of crash and spend the night. This isn't exactly a, an inn or a tavern, but there's um, some comfortable. Um, futons and couches upstairs that uh, Strell and um, Aelin can uh, can talk on. And, and I would it's I would guess perhaps that uh, Mirish keeps Strell up pretty late like asking <laughs> questions about performing. Yes. Like, <laughs> is it true little... that you performed here? Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, like, tell me about that performance. Is it true that you can really do that move? And then like, I want to I want to show my own skills but it's like really mm -hmm. late at night and people are trying to sleep so i try to do it silently so i maybe need to roll for that <laughs> <clears throat> let's let's uh let's just assume that you do roll for it and it goes whichever way is the best but we're gonna fade <laughs> there right. uh into the scene and um in the middle of the night 
Tanya. I am so sorry. <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, you... Um, you dream your dream again. But this time, it's... Not the fall. It's you in the um, cavern with the pool, with the tree in the pool. Um, and that blue glowing crystal at the heart of it. And uh, the voice is as um, comforting and soothing as it has been every time. Um, and, and there's a note of further sadness and regret, um, as, uh, instead of what the, the sort of God of the city through the tree told you before, which was come to me and I'll keep you safe. It says now my scion is the time for which I preserved you. I am sorry, but I need you to find me and help. Okay. Where are you? And what am I helping with? There are those who wish to rearrange things that should stay asleep to change and awaken the structures of this place that I have become in a way that would only harm I would not ask this of you but they are here Right now? Right now. And I don't know exactly what they intend, but it seems... And the voice cuts off. Okay, okay, wake up. Wake up, sleepy revenant. Wake up. And uh, Tanya tries to force herself out of the, the dream. Um, you absolutely awake and in the dark in your room. Okay, um, and I wake everybody up. Like, we gotta go, we gotta go. Um, real quick, um, we have to go, we have to go now. We have to go, it's early in the morning, but I, we I have to go save. To the, to, you know the people uh, who are trying to bring the city back to life? Yeah, wait. I beg your pardon? We're trying to bring the city back to life. The, the whole resurrection thing, with the fishies? Remember the fishies. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. The fishies from the from from the ringing and the thing? Yes. Yes. Those? Oh. Right. Yes. Those people are trying to bring back the crystal heart and we have to go find it now. How do you know now? they're there now? It's in the middle of the night. I only they're just there went now. to bed. But they're there now. Like the city's going to resurrect and we're all going to die. I mean, I won't die, but you all will die. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Where, um, where is this? I don't this? know what kind of dream you had, kid, but. How do I find it? don't know and it's not me anyways and then tanya starts like tanya starts like thinking and reaching out telepathically and is like how do i find you to the crystal heart like where is it at you uh reach out and um having been uh having been given that 
connection. You sort of feel like there is a tether, but it is, um, there's a sense of being blocked and cut off in a way that like not, not before it's like there was always this presence and it felt like this God had nothing directly to say to you. Now it's like the presence has been severed. Okay. Can I like find a direction that I had sensed the presence in the past? Um, so here's how I would like to do this. Any, uh, you, you guys tell me exactly how you want to do it, um, but it's going to be, and I didn't explain this particularly well, but we did in the last episode. In d d 4th edition, there's something called a skills challenge. And it essentially means that um, it is your purview to say how you want to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Mm. And it's also your, um, normally it'd be like, you'd say what you want to do. And I would tell you which skill that is. This is, I want you to tell me which skill out of like your skills and abilities you're using something that you can roll with a D 20. Yeah. And, um, and based on sort of how plausible, uh, what you're doing is and how well you describe it that will sort of set whether it's an easy or a hard yeah um, I've difficulties got, i've got a great one to lead with so um yeah with the slight technical issue we had the the tldr of what aelin said was why are we waking up so so early one more hour please i need to stop by my my flat to mm. get my my gear there was a there was an issue with my with my microphone it wasn't connected properly um but onto the skills challenge aelin would like to do history because there is a lot of history in this town. Um, he has been specifically researching the, um, the details about the god of Daybreak City, the resurrection machine schematics with Araxi when she popped over a few times. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the, the city has been inhabited for at least... 5,000 years off and on, mostly on, occasionally off during military campaigns, um, disease outbreaks, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so are you I... using history to try to, um, sorry, figure out where everything is likely to be regarding temples, regarding the different religions of the civilizations that inhabited sure. this place? Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wanna I wanna see if this is uh, related to the Salt Kings, whether this is a god of life, god of peace, or a god of wisdom, and particularly if someone has figured out the name of this god, which wasn't really a thing. You know, it wasn't a taboo subject until about thirty eight hundred years ago. Um, heck of a long time, even with a even with an elf's lifespan. Um, but. Someone somewhere may have discovered something. So hey, I would can, like to roll history. Can I help Aelin at all? Because I am... I actually do have the researcher perk since I you know, just graduated high school. I My history is not is pretty good. And didn't you graduate with honors? With honors. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on your character sheet. And every time actually... I look at your character sheet, it makes me laugh. <laughs> with honors. So there's a with lot honors. there. Um, I am going to ask you to choose whether you want to... Um, do one of three things with your history check. Do you want to okay. use your history check to remember where you found Tanya when you rescued her the second time she tried to find mm. this tree? Or do you want to use your history check to sort of construct a overall map of where things probably might be in the city? Or do you want to use it to... Um, no sort of more details about like who or what this god might be I'm gonna go with that very tantalizing third option okay because that was something I didn't consider and that is something I would like to know a lot do I get Rory's help with this or, or is that just like fluff help um, I, so I think that, yeah, you can get Rory's help with this. Yeah. Okay. You can, you can roll with advantage. 
Ooh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Writing down okay. the difficulty here for that. <laughs> wow. You, um, on your most recently acquired tablets, have a um, traditional, like, uh, you when you when you eventually were able to like find out which extremely dead language this was in and do a very rough translation of this yeah. tablet, uh, it yep. is written in the voice of a god. Mm. Um, it so it outlines, is celestial then. It seems to be. Uh, there are oof. a few things that indicate by like just the tense and the and the words that are used that this is written from a god. Um, yeah. It's like there are, you know, verb cases and things that only gods use in this particular old language. Um, and um, it's a it's a like reassuring song it is like a almost a psalm of sorts um that's you think was meant to be sung to remind worshipers of the truths about this god mm. and it is again not a hundred percent certain word for word that you've translated correctly but the gist is <clears throat> I was wisdom and direction and discovery. He was life and impulse. And when he, when he, and there's like a line that's difficult to translate. It has something to do with like corruption or twisting or attacking. And it is also um, the same word that would be used for like a maelstrom at sea. Mm. Um, it says, then I had to end him. And in doing so, knew I would die. This was right. And I'm sorry to leave you. And that's essentially the contents of it. Well, this is illuminating everyone. Yeah. Tonya, where's your familiar? Uh, Beast, right here. And um, yeah. Tonya creates a swirl and a little black cat pops out. Uh, what, what was your familiar's name again? Sorry, I have forgotten. It's Beans. 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 Not oh, Beans. Beans is Beans. silly. Beans is serious. <laughs> Look right. at this black cat. This is the face of a distinguished gentleman. Aelin starts talking to Beaks in Celestial and wants to get, like, the gist of if they can understand that translation as he's got it. Because he wants hmm. to make sure, because it's the only native Celestial speaker that he knows uh, would be okay. a... would, And this this is just going on whilst... Um, everyone else is doing their skill checks and things, yep. I think. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I'll provide you with any information that you're able to glean from that uh, cool. later. Uh, yeah, so we've got a successful skill check, um, and it has sort of given you insight into something like the character of uh, this god, which is interesting. Um, any other? Um, okay, so sorry. Well, the, the one other rule here is that the same skill can't be used twice. Mm. Okay. I think I want to do an arcana check. Um, I'm trying to piece together in my mind when I was like just going around doing my thing. Mm -hmm. which direction I sense this connection with the crystal heart to. Sure. So that way I know like roughly where we should start heading. That absolutely makes sense. 
almost like a triangulation from memory using your sense of magic. Not yeah. necessarily easy, but um, I think you'll be able to get something. Right. Um, Here goes another thing. I wanted to use bigs for this, but Elin has a bow. Nice. 15. Okay. Um, you sort of piece together, remembering that North Apodine was the area where the initial, um, like, your initial fall happened that um and then when you had traveled through that area and gone up into the crease that and let me let me uh move us to oh you're already on the map screen nice i'm just the only one who's not um that it would be um northeast or sorry northwest of north apodine like back towards uh like yeah west of krennel back in the like sort of shell wall areas okay. but also underground obviously but you're able to pinpoint that location do you guys start moving there yeah i think i start like getting everybody up and like shoving pastries in their mouth and being like we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go now and then um and then uh scribbled down a quick note to my mom and dad like off to maybe die i love you Tell the oh boy that I, I was really looking forward to the date, but died. Dot dot dot. It, I love no, you so no, much. Tom, and then Tom, leaves Tonya, you're, sa you're saving the city. You're not dying. You're saving Tonya, the city. Tonya, we don't know. This this might not be like your purpose or whatever. I don't know. Like th they might still have a use for you afterwards, is right? Right? I don't. They said that this was the purpose that they brought me. For. Anyways, we can talk about it. As like as like Tanya's running, she's psychically like recalling the memory to everybody, and is like, you know, death hey. is just part of life, kid. It's fine. I says the person is gonna live three hundred more years. Anyways, and she's <laughs> running. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's... Strell's probably got four hundred more years. I I hasten to correct. Yeah. Strell's pretty young for an elf. Rub it in. Yeah. Hey, just it, rub it in. I will. So you guys have rub a direction. Like age seems to be important here. Um, yeah, you, you've got a direction to head. Um, and uh, you're packed up, walking in that direction. Um, I think, I think you can opportunity to like do some tricks in the street to show off for for Mirish. Fair. And you she's know, just give her a just... little show standing in awe of like and just walking like ooh and ahs and and I, just... i'm just rolling my eyes strell hasn't been fawned yeah, over yeah. in some time and she needs a little ego stroking i'm the good teenager i almost hate to do this to you but i don't will you roll me a no, check for I'll that do it. i will 100 percent do that i will like i will totally do that i'm not offended uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. there how's that a 23. Suck it, Suck it snacks. Yeah, tell me, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, so like they'll they'll kind of be like walking along and uh Strell will kind of just like lag behind a little bit. Um and then she'll kinda she'll do uh she'll just like step into like a back walkover, uh do kind of like a, a, a do a walkover, do a back tuck, um, do like a, do like a uh, and then do like a front handspring to kind of like catch back up. So she kind of goes back and then comes back forward and then just kind of gives a little side eye to, to Mirish and winks at her. Oh. <laughs> You're just and limbering then, up, right? Just limbering up, yeah. No, it's like anything. first thing in the morning. Like, mm -hmm. might as well mm -hmm. just warm up a bit. For sure, for sure. For sure. Um, so you guys now, um, are in the uh, area uh, that uh, Tanya has directed you to. Okay. Um, this is... Is this right? Uh, yeah, I just don't know where, yeah, where. Uh, it looks do, do we see anything here? Uh... I, I um, guess, you're... what do we see here? Um, you could, someone could make a perception check here, uh, if you'd like to, uh, have that be one of the skill checks, just a suggestion, doesn't have to be, um, or I can just sort of tell oh, you right. some stuff. 
Oh, oh the sweet. skill check will, will make it better. Yeah. Right. I'm um, not, not going to roll anything because I've already rolled once. It's, it's time for someone else sure. to shine. Same. Yeah. We're, we're in the. I'm going to wait right? until you need my beef. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll roll. Not, Rory's not perceptive. Let's be real. <laughs> Um, I mean, I got a plus. Ooh. Two, I think. Oh. That's a net 20. Ooh, that's that is a cool. net 20. Okay. 20 so perception with natural you're from 20. this nice. area. Good lord. Um, and, I know this. And what do you do, like, in your free time besides acrobatics? Um, I'm kind of obsessed with the crease always have been um i i've always ventured out into the crease and spend time with my friends there which are crease spiders and um yeah i i i pretty much have ventured in and out of the crease and through all the different tunnels i could find and sometimes got lost but sometimes didn't and i've gotten to know this area pretty well also i can see very well in the dark <laughs> <laughs> this is um, your favorite terrain of sorts. Um, your home turf in every sense of the word, and you rolled incredibly well. I think that um, it's not just what you see now, but what you remember having seen, a sort of mental map of... Um, we know that the crease is considered unmappable, and that in some ways it seems almost impossible in its geometry and inconsistent and even non-Euclidean. If I can, uh, it's just, it's a, it's a very strange, um, space, but you remember some places that you had put in your mind, like, oh, this was interesting. I don't have time to go here today, but like, this goes deeper than I remember. And this is a turn down this sort of area. And you were able to talk to Tanya and based on what she described and has remembered, bring the party through the tunnels quietly and carefully until you are deep beneath the city and Tanya something about this area it's maybe the um, texture and color of the tunnels around you um, the smell of the air and its temperature and humidity um, the way that the water drips and echoes and the sort of strange creaking noises of the city fade into silence that makes you feel like you are very close. Okay, we're pretty close, guys. Let's keep, uh, let's keep pushing. Are you, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what a revenant would feel like, honestly. Normal? Like it's familiar. Okay. Normal's Familiar? good. Normal's good. What happens if you just don't do your purpose? Can you can you keep living then? No, I don't think it works like that. Also, too, the city would come alive and everybody would die. So it's like, hey, like it's you know, a like, trade off. You die, I off. live. It's like uh, my parents yeah, die. Fair. Yeah, I don't want to. Listen, I'm trying to be jovial, but like, listen, like I am so grateful and thankful I was able to meet you guys. And don't don't if, talk like that, Tanya. No, don't don't. Do and that. if I die, I'm happy I was able to save you guys. But Tanya, if I don't die, then we get to live happily ever after, and everything is great. And let's move on. And then Tanya yes, runs okay. for it. <laughs> Oh, slow down, Tanya, slow down. The others can't see as well in the dark as I... Well, actually, I think it's just you and Rory that can't see well in the dark. No, I, I think all of us can I'm see in the dark okay. now. I'm actually okay. Everyone see. but Perfectly. Tanya can see in the dark right now. <laughs> the person <laughs> just the off off is blindly. the one that can't see. You guys yeah. watch Tanya, like, feeling along the wall, <laughs> running down. It's like, mm, it's Everyone familiar to the touch. <laughs> As a redneck, I... I can't see in the dark. Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 uh, so at some down. point, I imagine, I, I go up to Tanya, and I, say, and I just kind of, like, hold her shoulder. Like, hey, here, let me, we can, don't, you don't need to rush off. We can do this together. Okay. I, We're in this together. I, know, I just, I just don't want to cry again. You know, I know crying I know. sucks. Okay, crying, crying sucks. does suck. 
Emotions suck. They do. Emotions suck. Yeah, they yeah. do. So it's okay to have them. They do suck. Yeah. And Tanya just kind of like holds on to his arm, kind of like half hugging him and half like letting him guide her. And I'm throwing my arm on the other side over her. No. Like, and just guiding along. We, we, we all, we're all going to stick together. Okay. Um, question, actually. Did we didn't wake Nevin up, did we? I don't think so. We forgot so. Nevin! <laughs> okay. Rory probably didn't mention anything intentionally. What do? We still got another roll to do, haven't we? Mm hmm. I'm, uh, I'm counting that natural 20 as two successes. Um, I'd like one Ooh. more. Okay. okay. Wait, do we have um, another roll to do? Because I, I helped you, Aelin, but I haven't actually yeah. checked myself. Has anybody right. else? No, because we've got the we've got the three successes, but it depends on how many we successes. We did the are history games and perception after and arcana. And arcana. Okay. Depends on how many successes our GMs are after. Um, <laughs> more than three. <laughs> Oof, um, okay, fine. Because <laughs> you've got four right, to go next. Does anybody have a good survival skill? Um, no. I don't think my survival is actually all that good. I Does could... anybody need a performance? No, it's. <laughs> I was gonna say. Could I? Could I <laughs> you need, like? Uh, you need some acrobatics or athletics. <laughs> we are looking for a like a god, um, or essentially like we're trying to track down location of this place. The the, um, like the god's essence inside. Yeah, the, exactly. The body of the old can I, god. Can I use my uh, connection to? Because like, Rory does have some connection to the crease. Can I use that through like religion to? See if I can suss out where, like, which direction down as we go further down the degrees we, can, we need to go. Sure. Give okay. me, uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about just so I can set the difficulty here, like how you're using that to try to help you because you are close. So mm -hmm. what are you? What are you trying to do I'm with that? Really, I'm really. I'm. I'm sort of a knowledge to... thing. It's with your mind. It's a, kind of a knowledge thing. It's unfortunately something that Rory is not familiar with. Rory is not really a religious person um, and definitely doesn't train in magic specifically. But because Rory has been, I think, more and more affected in some way, um, like he's been given these kind of psychic abilities or the psionic abilities, um, I'm really just looking for actually to see if I can tune into that psionic energy and see if I can just let it lead me somewhere okay. that's not exactly the normal application of religion so it's going to make this a slightly more difficult check yeah. but i think you do sort of try and ask everyone to be quiet for a time as you focus on this um and i'm gonna write down a number okay i, I can even like i yeah because zavori doesn't have even an image of in his mind of this god to even ask a question or to look for guidance. So um, really if you're thinking about this all out loud, Tanya can like, like try to relay the image of the god to you, like through telepathically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So kind of giving him the help okay. action. I get what you're doing here. Uh, yes. Like Rory can definitely focus on that image. Go and, ahead and roll and... with advantage. Okay. DC's kind of high. <sighs> oh. So a nine, oh. and, uh, a nine is the final uh, roll there, and so you do sort of ask everyone to be quiet, and you and you sort of try to center yourself and focus in on that part of you that's connected to the city, and it winds up kind of wasting everybody's time. Um, <laughs> uh, not know. feeling anything. It's too too overwhelming in like the crease of all places, perhaps. It's okay. That's you okay. See just um, like a glare come from Strel as she's just like, excuse me. <laughs> Trying their history, best. Not... Trying their best. Um. Teenager. The only other thing I can do is insight. Or I guess I could try survival. I don't know. 
I'm trying to see um, if, like, we can... Or actually, Tanya would not be a good person for this, but I guess I can, like, whisper over to Marish or Strell or anybody else really be like, can anybody, can anybody see, like, tracks of people, like, or anything to indicate... Ooh. Like, can anybody see anything? I, I mean, mean, I can see plenty of things. Let's see if we can't find some... See I mean, some... maybe working together we could do a survival check? You guys can say which whoever has the highest survival uh, score. I That's have fine. a survival of two. You have what? I have a two. survival of two. Okay, well that's better than mine of zero. Oof. You can help one another to, um... Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'm... I'll go ahead and be on the lookout, uh, and if Aelin wants to study up on the footprints, maybe? Uh -huh. I, I would like to, like, look around for, for spider friends. Oh, yeah. That's such mm. a good idea. But, like, animal yeah. handling? Yeah. Oh, that is a cool idea. I like That's that. a really cool animal idea. Handling. I love that idea. Um, let's do both of those. They're both good ideas. Let's get an animal handling check from Mirish and a survival check from uh, Aelin. Okay. Do I get uh, to help Aelin? Sure. Okay, cool. Cool, so with Just advantage like, for me? his buddy. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, dook. Not for me, right? Or Yours with... is going to be straight because I don't think anybody straight, else yeah. knows how to yeah. tell things about I, I can kind of but I'm doing this so um, <gasps> uh -uh. oof well oh. come on not my luck <laughs> okay so um while uh Mirish takes a few minutes to try to like track them down because you have some ideas you're like okay I know that um their webs would be disturbed in certain places and that like they would move in such a way if someone moves in here it's just um sort of coming up empty on finding anything uh, around here with the with those yeah. denizens of the crease um and so it's a little bit more time that passes before Aelin you come across uh a set of and and it's it's hard ground here so it's not like there are going to be like imprinted foot mm. prints but you start to notice along this one pathway that there are like uh scrapes and uh even bits of the shell underneath that are like crushed a little bit uh little like marks as though someone yeah with, um, i think maybe I think like he hobnailed doesn't, yeah doesn't notice anything at first and he's, he's looking around with strell's help and, and maybe Aelin and strell like tread in a little bit of broken shell and you hit like the crack it's like wait a second and that's when they figure out, like, oh, interesting. It's mm. great marks. Perhaps. You're able to follow these, and they do seem... At first, you're like, where are they coming from and where are they going? But based on um, sort of the observations, um, you know, Tanya, you're still sort of trying to, like, triangulate your impressions from, from earlier. And uh, Mirish, you still are giving input in terms of like, oh, well, if that tunnel is heading east, like it seems like it is, that probably heads towards the surface, actually. And um, you are able to pick your way down these passages until you come to uh, what for Tanya is a very familiar place. Oh. Um, coming from uh, this direction you guys enter the place you remember from your dreams um, a cavern with a pool in it um, towards you the water is shallow going up to a little um, just a gradual bank where the water it isn't moving it's perfectly still but it sort of rests in between it rocks and pebbles that gently go down and then against the the far side of it there is like a uh, cliff wall raised behind this central island on which sits a black stump oh no oh no oh no oh no tanya just runs into the water and like 
like kind swims of towards the black stump. It was here. It was a tree. It was a tree with a big old thing in it, and they took it. They took it. They took the crystal heart, guys. They took it. There, no one's here, and they took it. What are they going to do with it? What does that mean? I thought they were. Can I start it's... looking around the room to see if I see anybody like kind of left around, or is there any sign of anybody? Yeah, absolutely. Um, ha- looking at um, the marks that Alan and uh. Strahl pointed out, you're seeing um, them sort of all over this place as though someone has been here uh, and maybe many someones. Do they look fresh? Like how? It's hard to tell. It's it's hard to tell. Okay. Can I do like an, an... well, no. Are you in the water? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it it doesn't glow as brightly as you remember. There's still a bit of a brightness to it and little specks of white and blue light floating in the surface like you remember, but uh, it's dimmer than you thought it was or maybe it has gotten dimmer. Okay. Um... Okay. You're able... I... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, you're able oh. to pull yourself up onto this little island that this stump is on. You know, it's got like a little raised bit of root, like twisted root wrapped around. There was earth here at one point, but it's almost completely been grown over until as this tree has sort of um, grown and rooted itself throughout the space. And um, you all hear a skittering noise. And someone, a voice that is dry and fractured says attack. Defend, attack, go. And uh, I would love you all to roll initiative for me. It's that time! That that sigh was in character, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Hela's just like, "Uh why? Why? All right. Oh, I should have selected my token first. Oh, I totally yeah, did. That's, no, no, that's no, it's thing, fine yeah. because I always just run it on paper. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. So that's totally cool. I should roll initiative, huh? I'm a paper yeah. person myself. I, okay, you know, I'm old so. school. What can I say? Is that plus yeah. my, my bonus that I have? From, no, so uh, that's can... included. If you just, yeah. if you clicked yeah. on the initiative button, then it's included. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Wait, so okay, she gets older. a yeah. wisdom. No, no, you. She she gets a wisdom bonus too. Um, so you add your wisdom modifier. Oh, oh, is it because oh, this that's is right. like your favorite territory? It's a, yeah, it's a specific Gloomstalker ability. Yeah, it's dread. The Gloomstalker, the dread ambusher feature of the Gloomstalker rogue, Ooh. which is mm, busted. Cool. So, so it's twelve busted, then. But in all the best ways. Okay, let me just do some speedy bookkeeping. I wrote Strel and then Dragners, like. <laughs> My name is character <laughs> names or both. Both is good. So, Mark what was your wisdom uh, modifier, uh, Zara? Poor Quaid and Two. So it's twelve. Two. Okay, twelve. Sick. I'll get right. in the meantime um, perception checks from Strahl and Rory. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I need one second. My lens is coming out, and I don't want to like put my finger in my eye, so I'm going to cover the, the camera. Real oh, quick. yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, do your thing. Jeez, sorry that that's happening. Yeah, goodness, no no worries. Aelin. I think Rory's just kind of looking around frantically and, and... overall being very unperceptive. <laughs> Fair, um, but <laughs> Strel... on her game. She yeah. is not bothered with the teens, and so she's, like, tuned in. You're the one who sees um, from back here crawling um, with elongated spiky limbs that are like sort of clawing into the shell rock. Um, People, different than people you've ever seen before. Um, They have a face and a body like a person wearing um, simple white robes embroidered with um, blue crystal symbols. But they seem to be 
covered in crystal growths to where their eyes and face are obscured and only you can only see their mouth beneath it. Their arms seem to be elongated and replaced with long, like, crystalline um, prisms of um, white and blue. And um, they, they sort of walk on all fours with, like, these extremely stilted movements. Um, and you see two of them. Um, and one of them says, attack. Um, and they're moving towards you, um, sort of, you know, crawling down this um, cliff face here towards Tanya. Uh-huh. Um, Strel is gonna just like shout, we gotta get out of here! And then it's gonna run towards, um, it's gonna run towards Tanya. I should have 40 feet. So let me double check. 45 feet. I'm so speedy. Um, 30. Yeah, so you can actually just count it by squares too. It's a five foot square. So it's however you want to do that. You, you can actually go probably farther, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, yeah. that's easy to get there. Um, so I'll, I'll um, kind you're of. You're going to have to rush. swim um, part of it. Like the central, um, squ- these like uh, areas are deep enough that like, it, well, it's like wading or swimming. It's a little, but like still you have so much okay. speed that you can get there. Other that people may have a more difficult time, but like these water spaces take two. Um, well, you move your swim speed through them. I don't remember exactly how it works, regardless. Okay, well, you can get yeah, there. I'm fast, but I'm not that fast. I think my 45, because I started way over here. I think my mm-hmm. 45 would only keep me, would only let me get like you, this far. This area ramps up and I believe you're fast enough, like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, oh, if I 40, went around. 45, you can mm. run around this ramp if you want to. Okay. Um, Doable, if you'd like. Yeah. As much as I would love to do that and get some hits off, um, I think, like, Strel would be a little bit more, like, tuned into the fact that Tanya is right in front of these creatures, and, like, that's a problem. Um, and so I think Strel would sacrifice some of her movements, uh, and instead of like closing distance, would kind of just get in front of Tanya and then shout at everybody to get back. Um, and then, uh, so that's just like her movement, uh, but she can do, um, actually, I do have some darts. I will go ahead and yeet a dart. Uh, at one of these, at one of these things. Sure. Yeah, please um, do. Dart yeeted. <clears throat> Dart so yachted. which one are you aiming for? Uh, let's do, let's do letter X. Okay. Um, you whip this um, dart at them and it, what do they look like, your darts? It can really um, be any like so... thrown weapon, I'd imagine. If you yeah, 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 yeah. Flavor them up a little. <laughs> these uh these darts they're they're kind of like so they're kind of like her razor blades but they've been like put into uh they've been like wedged into like a piece of wood so it's mm. more of like it almost looks like a like a mini battle axe kind of a thing um, yeah with, like, okay this, like, razor blades sticking You're out that throwing a razor off. blade that you've modified for throwing at them and they have human yeah bodies there is like crystal structure that seems like plate parts of them but you sink this razor and it like slices and they're so sharp like deep in between some of those plates into the flesh and um rather than like screaming in pain um this monster just gives out a deep dry breath and uh, continues to move forward um since uh, Strel saw that and moved in that direction and attacked Rory, you, even though your perception sucked, can see these things. Okay. Yeah. Um, am I next? You're up. Okay. Um, so, well, I. I got, Strel wasn't actually attacked. For a, the way that my, my glasses work, it, I can only run to somebody who's been attacked, a friend who's been attacked. So Accurate. I can't use. Okay, okay. That um, particular skill won't be of use to you at the moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's okay. Um, 
I Rory is going to run uh, as fast as they can. Um, see how far I can get. Five, ten, fifteen. 20, Only had some sort of movement-based abilities. If only had some sort of movement based abilities. Um, well, what if I did? What if I did this? No, yeah, don't let me backseat. Chronic backseat. Oh, I, me. I, I know. I, hey, 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 I know what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to oh, go over here. Uh, I should like tell um, these um, dark circles are like uh, stalagmites, like piles of. Um, Ooh. Like, so I can uh, hide okay. behind them. You can. Ah, um, cool. They don't go all the way up to the ceiling. They're maybe eight, nine feet tall, mostly, and the smaller ones are shorter. All right, I'm gonna move here. That's my full movement. I'm now gonna yes. misty step the rest of the way, and um, yeah. and there I can just like pop in a chat. There you go. And oh, I'm gonna misty step right, right over here next to X. Yeah, right on the and, edge there. And um, so this this is like edge. a vertical <laughs> cliff here. Right okay. on the edge. Okay. Uh, so I think that <laughs> this is actually you might have to be just one up because this is like almost vertical. Okay. So like yeah. oh, I'm like skirting the edge as much as I can because I because that's where they are. Living and, on the um, edge, if you will. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. Edges and on Isaac the edge. come out of the Macy step. I already have my sword drawn and I'm already <laughs> mid motion. Like bring it right down on them. This is Rory's signature move, Misty Step. It's I'm just so cool. Right now. It's so cool. <laughs> With the like white silver, just like puff of vanishing yeah. vapor. Roll your deck. Right. Ooh. That's going to sting. That's there a crit, is. boys. That is a natural beautiful. 20. Sweet. Dang. Beautiful. Dang. Oh. Okay. For how Damn. much damage? I guess. Wait, so yeah, it, it did seven plus seven six. Plus six. 13 damage 13 damage and then and yes. then i'm just gonna go all out i'm gonna i'm gonna as my sword strikes the enemy i'm going to use my psionic energy to empower the sword to go even further which lets me roll up here I can, <laughs> it lets me on your face roll <laughs> i only get i only get a few of these but it lets me roll a, a 1d6 um and i i deal damage equal to, to that number that i roll plus my intelligence modifier do it. That. Do it. Um, then your intelligence maybe. modifier is two or Six. three. My intelligence is now three. Because of Congratulate the level up. Graduate to Mavonis, don't you know? Level up. Ooh, Extra nine damage. A six. Extra nine damage. That's oh insane. my gosh. Um, That's insane. This sword crystal people buried in this, um, and, and not through here, the Kyle. flesh. You cut through their crystal plating, and it just bursts with mental energy and power and um gore um shoots back Ooh. into like a line across you out of the cut that you made so you just have like a slash of red um mm. blood mm. and uh do you have more is that your turn no that's that's my turn <laughs> is this thing, is this I, I mean i could up? but no yeah it's a good question is this thing how does this thing looking <laughs> not great uh, All right, that's okay. satisfying. <laughs> Anybody who wants to roll a medicine check can, if they want to, get a sense for how close to being out of the fight it is. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Go on then. I was not good at that, but hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it is more than halfway um, out of the fight. It's looking rough. Uh, it turns to you, uh, the one that just attacked uh, Rory, and uh, or that you just attacked. Um, yeah. And it has, you, you probably see this coming. It's got this, like, again, prism shaped. And as you get closer, you can see like sharp bladed and it's like forearm itself is maybe five feet long um and then it has these like crystal like in elongated fingers on its hands as well so it's like walking on all fours and it tries to backhand you with its right hand and you see it coming and duck out of the way all right. um and uh it follows that up in with like an eerie almost mechanical quickness with its other um with its left and uh, that actually does hit. I know that you do not have 23 oh. AC. I don't. Uh, 
<laughs> and it's going to gonna it. deal nine slashing damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, as it, um, I don't know, cuts through you. Yeah. Through your defenses. Uh, Oof. And okay, the other one. Estrella, are you doing anything to try to get them to attack you or get their attention? Uh, I don't think, like, not overtly. Like, she definitely, like, put herself in front of Panya, but, and, like, attacked, but, like, didn't do anything to necessarily provoke them on mm. her turn. Okay. Well, then this one's gonna go this one first and, uh, do the same exact thing. Uh, both of its attacks are gonna miss. Uh, as it comes down at you again with its long, uh, like, prismac- prism-shaped, like, crystalline uh, arms and, uh, and like, sharp fingers. But um, you feel balanced, Rory, um, and you're able to dodge out of the way. Cool. cool. It's I... Nourish's turn. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I was about to say, like, I, I imagine I do have, like, a flash, like, think about Gam Gam earlier. and Because I am, like, teetering on the edge here. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Mirish, can I interest you in a turn of Dungeons and Dragons combat? Absolutely. Um, how much are the squares again? In five feet. Five feet. Uh, okay, and like I'm... diagonal ones, like you, it's kind of it doesn't exactly follow geometry. So, like right. diagonal is still just five feet. Okay. So, uh, because I have forty, I don't think I can reach all the way there. Um... That might be true. Let me count for you. That's eight, uh, eight squares of movement is 40, right? Yes. You can get here as like as close as you could get by running up that direction. Hmm. In that you can case... also get next to Strel, like here on the other side of the trunk stump thing. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then um, I'll, I'll grab a weapon that I haven't used all that much. I'll grab my longbow and i take aim at the x the x one um, absolutely and just very precisely try to hit him right like central somewhere um also i do this with a flourish that's how i get on the, the fantastic middle. yeah absolutely uh strel you notice it looks pretty good actually uh do noted, you want to cast hunter's mark before you do that uh, oh yes, I do. Thank you for the back seating. <laughs> you get one. You get one reminder. <laughs> Everybody gets one. I played well, a ranger one once. I know how hard it is to remember to cast on this mark. <laughs> I also didn't put it on my. I don't think I put it on my thing. So. Oh, maybe you don't have it. <laughs> oh wait, no. Yes, you I have do. A spell. <laughs> you do. I don't know. You do. You absolutely do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. But it didn't I'm show totally up. Fit. All right. Yeah. Then I, I cast. Me. Hunter's Mark, and yep. because I have um, a Dread Ambusher, um, that I believe that means that I can do a second attack even, so I could like shoot twice. Yeah, could you put that in chat? Will your Dread yeah. Ambusher, uh, or maybe I can do it. Just by clicking it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm not seeing it show up. Here, got it. There. I think, Dread Ambusher. At third level, you master the art of the ambush. You can give yourself a bonus on your initiative rolls with your wisdom modifier. At the start of your first turn of each combat, your walking speed increases by 10 feet. And if you make the an attack action on that turn, you can make one additional weapon attack. And if it hits, it takes an extra 1d8 damage. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. That is busted. Crikey. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it sounds like the way you read it, you get to make your first attack roll. And then if your second one, which the additional one hits, it does extra. Yeah. So um, I think with Hunter's Mark, that um, gives you extra damage if you hit as well and lets you track them if you don't know where they are. All right. So that well, said, please roll an attack. <laughs> it's a lot. You're doing a lot yeah, of stuff. Goodness. And I'm here for uh, it. Just clicking the longbow, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Normal roll? Mm hmm. Then so go ahead and roll an extra d6. Uh, extra one, two, 
one d six. That should be... wait. Isn't it a one d eight? No, this is for no. Hunter's it's Mark. a one d six for Hunter's Mark. Oh, did I do it wrong? Because it didn't show up. Yeah, it didn't show up. I'm not sure why. One d six. Slash roll. Or yeah, you can Sorry? type slash r space one d six and it should work. Yeah, that's what I'm typing. Slash R one huh. D six. Oh, is there? Oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Five. Nicely done. Holy wow. smokes! You guys are. Nice. Wow. Slaying this thing. So one, uh, one sturdy arrow from your longbow. You pull it taut and send it into this thing's body, uh, right into like its side of its back, uh, and you can attack again. I do the same thing. <laughs> Uh, just longbow again, right? Yep. Ooh. Yeah, this is that'll immaculate. hit. This uh, is immaculate. And you can roll an extra 1d6 and an extra 1d8. Ooh. All right. That's beautiful. Uh, I, yeah, I'm loving all this. Marish is destroying this thing. Hey. Yeah, Marish, you're so cool. Oh six on the d6, and then why don't oh you just roll God. an eight on the d8 too? Just come on, just do it. Just roll an eight. A six That's on the d8. Six. So <laughs> in one round of combat, I think you just did 21, 27, 33 damage. Goodness. Wow. Oh my God. That's enough to that instigate is... any of us. Yeah, so pretty unfair much. unfair to me. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, Aiden, what does it look like as you dispatch weapon. this monstrosity? It's it's dying. What do you? How? Uh, have you seen that scene in Lord of the Rings where Legolas takes down the whole mammoth? You know, like with the sliding and the multiple arrow shooting. It's like that, but like yes. except I'm just sliding around this tiny little island, just like flourishing, like maybe like doing an extra flourish with the bow. I'm just showing off at this point. <laughs> yeah, and it's. I'm clean. like Strell is here. Yeah, I'm trying to like, thing, get something going ask, here. Do you, like, do you like look at Strell for approval while you do this? Yeah, yeah like. <laughs> yeah. Loses its there, grip. She, there, and, there is uh, approval to be had. There it tumbles approval. into the water, motionless in front of you, uh, and I feel sad. <laughs> the bonus and action. I'm perfectly Aelin, fine with that. You're up. <laughs> Aelin, Aelin, whilst this is happening, he's just gotten his own bow ready. Legitimately impressed at this. But, um, yeah, I, I'm i just gonna just straight up go for the attack on uh, the other one that's remaining um, to begin with. I'm not hidden currently, so I won't get any advantage shenanigans with that without that i don't think um uh, but... you won't get advantage but you will be able to have your sneak attack damage if you hit because yes uh, rory is in combat yep um and after that i'm gonna use my bonus action to hide <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, yeah i'm insane. after rolling my quote unquote crossbow uh custom made long crossbow yeah telescoping Oh, cool not quite thing. as good as everyone else's RNG. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, with your Marish thirteen, everybody insecure. <laughs> it's going yeah. to um, click off of this um, crystal and yeah, uh, the perfect shot is just mm -hmm. bounces off the crystalline arm of the things. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and go yeah. ahead and you're hiding and then, as well. Yeah. Then I'm gonna hide. Uh, so I'm gonna drag myself there and stealth roll, which I now actually have proficiency in as a rogue. Absolutely. <laughs> Imagine a rogue being good at stealth. Nice. <laughs> yes, you disappear uh, into into the shadows there. And Tanya, um, probably feeling um, a little rocked. Um, this has exploded into action around you, and it's your turn. Um, yeah, I think, so mechanically what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, hex this creature. Um, so I get to do an extra d6 of acrobatic damage um, to the target uh, when it's hit with that. Also, I get to pick a thing it has disadvantage on an ability check. I'm going to okay. pick constitution. 
disadvantage because on constitution on saving throws. Oh, yeah. checks or saving throws? Saving throw. Okay. Uh, no, it's checks, and they are, they are different. Uh, yeah. I'm, I love having the uh, text for the spell in roll 20. That's mm-hmm. chef's well, kiss. Beans. Well, then, it's PBTV make... chef. Um, but anyway. That's as big of a difference, then. Um, but then I'm going to cast a uh, frostbite, um, and it has to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it's not going to be disadvantaged on the constitution saving throw, unfortunately, because it's not a check, yeah. uh, right. which is a, yes, slightly annoying, but yeah, that is how that wor- works. Okay. So um, they fail. Amazing. Uh, So they take 1d6 cold damage and have disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll it makes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, So um, what I... So I have to roll damage for that. But I also have to... Do I have to roll for this to hit? No, it's instantaneous. You can say it makes a constitution saving throw. Okay, so it takes one. So it's going to take 2d6 worth of damage then. Right, from the Um, hex and the frostbite. mm -hmm. Yeah. And And describe this to me as you roll the damage. Yes, that's what I was going to do. Um, so, so so as Tanya is doing this, um, quickly realizing that these creatures are absolutely mindless, um, she's like, like she throws out a hex with one hand, I imagine it's like some dark necrotic energy comes from it. And she's like, you will not stop me from my purpose. And then with the other hand throws a frostbite at it. And, and is like, and it's like, you're just a distraction. And does that awesome that's um, literally cold so this Not is the first sorry. round of combat uh i would like to see this through and potentially um got more to explore if we want to afterwards but i know we've been going for a while how would you guys feel about taking like a super quick break and uh forging forward in distracting stacy from her homework mm. yes yes sounds good to me sounds good to me <laughs> do you have to use the bathroom yeah me too Wait, uh, let's all take a pee break. so yeah everybody go- uh shorter break than last time we'll be back with more uh dangerous, harrowing uh, battles that I'm losing badly. And uh, <laughs> we're doing so the good. DM, thankfully, goodness. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah. Uh, stretch, do your thing, see you in a bit.
Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Daybreak City Nights episode six of eight in our first, possibly only, season. Uh, it's a fight in the cavern where Tanya once upon a time encountered um, the god of Daybreak City. And um, there are these crystal covered monstrosities um and it is you know it's been a brief execution of one of the two of them uh and it is now strell's turn sorry i had to yawn for a second yeah um, no worries it's the right. excitement <laughs> <laughs> no no <laughs> well, it's fine it's just a yawn friends it just means my brain needs more air kyle can tell you all about it um okay. i wasn't kidding i yawn when i'm excited oh really i yeah. usually don't um i forget to breathe and i get yeah and then i start yawning oh, okay. people are like oh man he's so casual he's so laid back i'm like no this is me panicking you're like no i'm super stressed <laughs> out <laughs> mm -hmm. all right uh taking it the snacks way um all right let's see 20 feet okay no big deal we're gonna, Strell's gonna do what Strell do best, and Strell gonna run up and throw some punches. Yep. Um, Just give me a. Uh, uh, no, you're fine. I was gonna make you roll a climb check, but honestly, there's a corpse of this thing for you to get a boost off of. And. Uh, yeah, and I mean, like, so you I. You have, have so much five, extra movement, too. I, yeah, I have so much movement. So I have twice my movement and then some. Yeah, yep. Uh, yep, absolutely. I am so speedy. Um, all right, so, Nimble. sorry, I'm just taking one more look to make sure that I'm Gucci. Okay, so first unarmed strike, 16? 16 uh, is gonna bounce off of its crystal armor. That's Ooh. no problem because I'm going to use, boo -boo -boo. flurry of blows. We'll try to hit one more time. That's gonna hit. That's yeah. gonna hit. Um, and do five damage. Let me just, sorry, I'm reading through my stuff. Um, mm, I think that's all I can do. Oh, I can make one more as a bonus action. Okay, so one um, more. Well, so you, so, and also Flurry of Blows is two. So oh, you can actually yes, make that's right. okay. two Ooh. more. All right, oh. so that one doesn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't do it. So four attacks, and I think this is what it looks like, actually, because it is cool that you hit it. I think it's like you find this, like, one crystal that, like, is protecting its back, and you just hit that same spot four times until you break through it, and it shatters um, against you. Um, and there's a feature of them that I forgot um, to do. Um, okay, and I well, won't, I won't I, retroactively I will say, do it. Yeah, Go ahead. I also get the disengage action. Um, sure. After. Absolutely. Uh, you use your bonus action. Kind of like, I will just kind of mew over that way in uh, using a couple cartwheels. What do you What do you get uh, disengage from? Uh, that is from my blah, 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 one of my class features, my subclass features. You need to use a bonus action chat. to do it. I don't think so. Um, so at third level, yeah, you're right. How to add? Mm -hmm. Whenever you use flurry of blows, you gain the benefit of the disengage action. So cool. Because wow. I use flurry of blows, I get to disengage. Actual, cool. and you get an extra ten feet of movement if you want it. Um, as you hit it, though, um, the crystals do shatter. Um, and sort of spray out from it. And I need you and Rory to make me um, dexterity saving throws. Uh, I have a question, right. and this is an important question. Mm -hmm. Would you consider these projectiles and or missiles? Yeah, I guess I would. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, can I like catch one and deflect it? <laughs> so... I think you can. I think I can. So this is, for people who don't know, this is like a, a monk feature that's not commonly used, but it's like the coolest thing. It's not used as much as it should be. Technically, yeah, this really isn't is. a ranged weapon attack, but this is so cool and we get to use it so rarely that I think. Roll, uh, yeah. So let's do this. Roll me your d10. 
and then roll me, uh, still roll me a, a deck save. Okay, so there's a six, and my deck save. Nice. Okay. That. So you're going to take half damage on this anyway, and uh, and then reduce it by six. Uh, Mr. Rory, yeah, you also we go. are adjacent to this yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a 30 roll. Mm. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I rolled bad. Uh, it's going to be <laughs> nine damage uh, for you, Rory, okay. and none for Strel. Um, I th- okay. okay. I do I think- get to fling one of those back at it. Go for it. Roll a uh, D8. Oh, sorry. Roll a ranged with... weapon attack. Okay. Uh, with I get with proficiency, regardless of your weapon's proficiency. So that would be. Yeah. Um, would that be like if I threw one of my darts? Yes. Okay. Then I will just do that. Has has that? Yeah. Uh, that will okay. hit. Cool. Um, so yeah, another <laughs> another four damage there. Um, Rory, make me a dex safe. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. As, as it's, uh, this dart causes it to yeah, shatter Yeah, it's further. a shatter again. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take seven more okay. damage. After all oh. that, okay. after Rory was talking, I'm not sad about it. I'm not. I'm not. Wow. I think. Wow. <laughs> So I, I've just killed this other enemy. You just like run up, you punch this thing and like just crystals start shattering everywhere. And then you flip away and you're fine. And I just, I kind of look at you, I glare and like, come on. I'll give you a little wink. <laughs> just like old times, huh? Like old times. Be grateful that I forgot to do this for the first one that you guys hit like four times. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, Sorry, it's your turn. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Although a lot of that damage wasn't the types of damage that caused this to happen. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. actually, um, your attack wouldn't have caused it, mm, Kyle. So I okay, actually, okay. yeah, didn't really even forget to do it that much. That's that's actually good to know. Um, no, I don't have to be as afraid, but I will still. I am still going to do a little bit of a second wind to get mm. some health back. Um, mm-hmm. Because oh boy, that was a lot of damage all at once. Um, a lot see, of damage. <laughs> Am I going to have to throw a lot potions of at him here? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe into keep his that my hand. <laughs> the Aeon special. Sunglasses. <laughs> so I, I get 1d10 yeah, plus Aelin 4. Yeah, the Aelin minor heal. Healing. Oh, dang. Whoa. Okay. That's a that's, solid that's, second win. That's encouraging. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Encouraging. Bonus right. action. Yep, that was my bonus action. Um, I will now continue to slice into this uh, monstrosity mm-hmm. with my sword. Yeah, absolutely. Bam. Not going to cut it. Not going to quite. Mm. Literally mm. not going to cut it. Um, I think it's this one uh, just, uh, yeah. yeah. Misses pretty much entirely. They are yeah. eerily quick and it sort of shifts out of your way. And, I'm going uh, to action surge. Okay. And, and attack it again. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Not letting this get away. Come on, come on. Dang it. Oh, okay. Rude. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm probably, why I'm, do you think these misses? I'm, I'm these thinking misses? of a, I'm, I'm frustrated with Strel, honestly. <laughs> uh, it is. Yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Our rivalry oh, shall go down and for the ages. Been... <laughs> Doesn't. Okay. Um. Just kidding. You're not my nemesis. Sly is. You're just some teenager. Just some I teenager. Think what this is? Yeah, you're just a little teenager. Is move here, uh, and and you know it's sort of surrounded, uh, but it does know how to calculate threats, and it's going to take its long, weird crystal fingers and snap sharp shards of itself off and fling them at Nourish uh, twice. Oh, that's fun. Uh, That's going to hit. And that's going to hit. I rolled a 17 and a 19. How do you feel about that? Sad. Makes sense. I would Very, very sad. Uh, That is going to do... Honestly, it's kind of rude. 10 damage as both of these sharp uh, crystals um, slice through. 
Not nice and, uh, snacks. That's not nice. Not, not the nicest. That's no. for sure. Oh, wait a second. It has disadvantage on its next attacks until my turn. You're right. Okay, Ooh. so I'll roll again for both of those. Even though, yeah. Thank you, Tackle. So, first one, <laughs> re-roll. Welcome. 18. Second one, re-roll. Uh, does a 15 hit your AC? Yeah. No. Dang it. Hit. I tried. That was, my lowest roll was a 10 out of four rolls. That was a very... That's insane. Armor class yeah. is 14 for me. Uh, it is, however, as you sort of stagger from these attacks, your turn to respond. Um, well, I'm pissed. Uh, and I, yeah, I think I can easily make it next to him. Right over here. Um, and I, like, swap out the bow for my glaive. And, um, like, I flourish it like as hard as I can like into its side with one of the Absolutely. blades. Absolutely. Yeah, do it. Boop. Please. Eee. Uh, yeah. That'll work. <laughs> so, your glaive, this big heavy pole arm, right? It's basically like yes, a pole with pretty with ribbons a... on it. Yeah. Um, again, sort of as it slashes, it doesn't um, like exactly connect with the um, crystals on this thing. Um, there's, you know, like we said, uh, human flesh beneath it, and you carve through its body somewhat. Uh, and it's Salen's turn. Mm. Can I medicine check real quick? See uh, to see how dead this how thing almost is. dead it is? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I will on a I'll just say this. On a DC twelve, I'll tell you if it's more than half dead. Okay, that sounds nice. More than half dead. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna take the calculated risk and shoot it. I'm gonna pop pop there out go. Oh hang on, hang on. I can actually load this thing and <laughs> fire it. Nerf or nothing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yes, now that I'm actually hidden, I'll get advantage on the attack roll from that. Uh, from my uh, from my sneak attack. Um, and I'll then use my cunning action to hide again. <laughs> absolutely. So, uh, longbow. Um... A 24. Mm. Uh, that will absolutely hit um, for a total of eight piercing damage. Is that correct? Or is it 10? Uh, plus, it's total of 10 because I get okay. the I get the sneak bonus um, when I have advantage on the attack yeah. roll. Right, right. Yeah, so it's, it's, you can mouse over it and see that it's the 1d8 plus three for your attack and then two for yeah. sneak, so 10 total. Um, can I get dexterity saving throws from Rory and Mirage? Uh, I'm gonna hide. Dexterity. Mm. Right. Third time's the charm. Let's do it. Is uh, that a charm? Wait, how do you roll a save? Twelve. Uh, so you can roll up on the top, top left. Um, there's a little box for saving throws. Uh, near, like, yep, left of your it. armor class. Got it. Um, 12 is, is enough, um, to dodge out of the way of the, um, okay. shards that fly from this piercing damage. Oh, yeah. Um, you will take half of 12 damage, uh, Rory, and, uh, Mirish, you'll take 12 damage. I am All going right. to cast as a reaction, a protective field around Zara to help reduce some of that damage. Hell yeah. It's another energy energy die thing. So I'm going to roll a 1d6 and you get 1d6 plus three damage reduction. Nice. So as, Ror as Rory casts this field, instead of taking 12 damage, you take seven. So you can add five health back on that you, you know, as you can see you already right. took off. Nice. And I took six damage, yes? Correct. Yeah, okay. half damage on a safe. Um, okay. Tanya, you're up. 
Okay. Um. Uh, I don't think I can do what I want to do. So. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to um, do Mind Sliver. Uh, that sounds terrifying. Mind <laughs> Sliver? <laughs> yeah, Mind Sliver. Wow. Um, Tell us more. You drive a disoriented a spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature you can see within range. Target must succeed on intelligence saving throw or take 1d6 psychic damage and track 1d4 from their next saving throw before the end of next turn. Is it still hexed? It is still hexed. So it's going to take an extra 1d6 uh, if it fails its intelligence saving throw. Yep. That's good for you yeah. and bad that's for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, a cantrip. Yeah. That's a cantrip. Wow. I rolled a natural 20. Minus 2. So 18. Uh, Snacks, it. it's not allowed. I'm sorry. I know. Well, you passed know. my spell allowed. save DC. And um, whenever you hit on attack, so no, you take no damage from me. Um, in that case, I'm going to spend one sorcery point to do it again. Oh, oh good. <laughs> I'm going to quick and spell. Let's do it again. Mind sliver. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, it's a, it's a teenage way. Just do it again. It's got to work the second time, right? <laughs> uh, I rolled a 13. Minus two. Minus two. So yes. 11. Uh, yes. It's going to fail. It's going to take a D6 of psychic damage and a D6 of necrotic damage. Yep. Oh, nine. you're rolling, not me. Uh, nine damage. Ouch. Mm -hmm. And then one d four. This is for an ability check. Oh, whoops. Uh. Like if it on its next yeah. one, we subtract one from it. It's Whatever never it gonna make another ability check again. Cause it died. Yes. Uh, nice. It, uh, yeah. from, is there a visible aspect to this? Yeah, I think what you see is like a clear spell of like magic, like dart through into its mind and it creams for a little bit and then its head explodes. <laughs> oh. Probably uh, splashing Rory and Mirish with ichor and brain. Gross. Rory is a wet now from all of the gunk that's been sprayed on from both of these things. Is, is, is Rory playing this off as I'm filthy and I don't care because I made this thing dead and saved my friends, or is he just going, eh? <laughs> no, R Rory's okay with it. Rory's... We've, we've been through some stuff. I think after, after the... Isn't... Especially because especially of all the fish that I've been dealing with and stick my hand in every oh. day making those buns. Like, this, this honestly isn't that bad. <laughs> things it. <laughs> it's not too bad compared Monstrosity to Monstrosity innards bread. are nothing compared to Gam Gam's pastries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys are uh, in combat no longer. Awesome. Um... Good work, team. There, wow. there is a, a rapidly uh, approaching potion towards Rory and Mirish. <laughs> I rapidly take it. <laughs> All yours. Thank I you. take the time I... to wipe myself off first, and then I take it. And as you're doing that, Strel, who was untouched by the goop, um, and looking fabulous still, if I do say so, uh, kind of looks at you and is like, "Hey, good job out there, kid. You got some, you got some spit fire to you." Thanks. I try to like smile real cool, but I'm still like covered and dripping and goop and like trying to look cool, but failing. Uh, that's perfectly fine because as soon as she gives you the compliment, she's like dead eyeing like, like um, Rory and is just like, and like turns you, back towards Tanya. Did you see me not like do like I did a lot. You got me hit so many times. Maybe you should have gotten out of the way. Ever thought of that? Um, Not as fast as you, okay? 
Oh, I would have rolled either like an investigation or perception to try to see if I can see where they took the tree to. I want a uh, investigation roll. I can help you with that if you like. I mean, I can help you with it. My investigation's not that good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got an investigation of four. Um, so I could after... help you after drinking this potion. Yeah, um, I just yeah. I popped the potion doofer in the chat uh, for um, Rory and Mirish. So you had two of them to give away? One yep. for each of them? Okay. So, uh, uh, so what do I roll? 2d4 plus 2. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Aelin's epitaxium training. Indeed. Uh, thankfully, he didn't have to throw one of those at you in combat. So it doesn't tend to work as well. Nice. <laughs> no. nice. Um, yeah, what the heck's my cat? And, uh, and it was just it these things, um, yeah, clattering silent. Uh, and I think still probably re- relatively quickly, Aelin and Tanya, you begin to just sort of search around. Um, with a 23 um you're starting to look for you know tracks like is there evidence that this thing moved um you spot on the ground next to tanya's foot um what looks to be a dark almost black um leaf uh sitting there uh, you are also able to start putting together like it looks like um, there may be tracks leading away uh, to the north. Mm. Okay, well, we gotta go. Um, and Tanya... That leaf almost, yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say Tanya picks up the leaf and looks at it closer. Do I recognize anything about it? You immediately um Tanya's uh, one eye is always blue. Um, both of her eyes burst forth with a bright blue light. Uh, and Tanya, you remember something the tree remembers. Um, it is surrounded by people uh, in this space. It's still whole. The tree is itself, but workers are beginning to saw it down and um, chop off its branches and pack them into a wagon. Against the wall there are three figures. There is an elven man in a dark blue suit with long hair and a fake tan. There is a creaseborn woman in a pearlescent dress with auburn hair and seafoam green skin. And uh, next to them, leaning against the wall, is a dark elf, dressed all in white, silver hair slicked back, carrying a folded up parasol. Um, And you hear what the tree heard as they talk to one another. Um, The man you recognize as Kian Kavidi, uh, the elf with the tan says okay B we need assurances from you you've claimed the crease will not give us trouble you've claimed the people who follow you will preserve the status quo as we move forward she looks at him and says the people will not rise up but the city will um and you see Kian roll his eyes at her um the dark elf seems to take her more seriously she says your side of the deal the power from the diapasons the presence of pliable minds This god, she will live again. Her power will surge forth to those who are near to her heart. And she walks away um, to look at it more closely. 
um, she passes these two mutants you just dispatched and she says you wait here and guard this area Kian turns towards this dark elf and he says even if somehow something happens our numbers are concentrated well outside of the shell we're not underneath it in Krenel or in Klingsley and besides there's nothing like an unnatural disaster to reinforce the importance of leadership um the dark elf pats him on the shoulder and says I'm sure you know what you're doing Kian stands up and uh sort of oversees people as they pack this tree into a wagon with its crystal heart already beginning to dim. And he tells them the location of a warehouse in the morgue skids where he wants them to take it. You guys all see Tanya's glowing eyes return to normal. One blue, one brown. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. We have to leaf immediately. Uh, yeah. Tanya, yeah. Hey, are you all right, kid? <sighs> Tanya takes the leaf that she just grabbed and puts it carefully in her uh, jacket pocket and just looks at them and is like, I'm gonna murder Ian Kavidi. All right, we have to go right. here. I, I hope you're willing to wait in line because there's quite a number of people who uh, who, who want him dead. <laughs> okay, Ooh. then I'll take the Kreisborn or the Dark Elf, either one of them, but I'm going to murder dark elf? them all. Yeah, there's Firstly, a Dark Elf. What the hell just happened to you? Yeah, okay. yeah fill us in. Sorry, there is, um, I picked up the leaf and I remembered what the tree remembered when it was being cut down. There was Kian Kaviti, there was a Dark Elf, and there was a Kreisborn Lady. Um, and then the Dark Elf had what, a weird accent. What did and they look like? What did they sound like? They had um, a white suit on, and they had a parasol. And they sort of talked like this. <sighs> um, and then I met the him Kreis this morning. Well, he's an ass. What? Um, yes, I agree completely. Was, was this? He was at, at the funeral. Mm. She and punched me. In alarming. Particular. What is? What is even going on? We're I, talking I'm, about Kavidi as in the crime family. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, honey. No. Like, uh, like the people who are also absolutely. after us. Yes. yes. Well, some mm -hmm. of them, not all of the Kavidis. Uh, the Kavidi family are currently. A bit of a split. Um, Kian controls m most of the lackeys. And I'd say a good Senna, chunk, and most of the city at this point as well. Nominally, Senna, whom we are on a better professional relationship with. She owes me. It's fine. Is less psychotic. Dangerous, yes, but not psychotic. Uh, I think we need to... What was the Creaseborn lady? The Creaseborn lady was this um, marine, aquamarine lagoon, the girl with the brown hair. And she knew exactly As a player, what she was doing. Did Aelin encounter this person? What, Aelin, Mirish, and Rory, and Tanya encounter this person when we had our adventure in episode four? No. I don't think we did, did we? Yeah. No. No, okay. No, it doesn't ring any bells. The only um, person who knows anything about this person has only heard their description, and I believe that that is... Well, it would be maybe... Hmm... It's definitely at least Senna. Yeah. 
I don't know. So I, was gonna... I think Strel was busy fighting Sly the Cactus King. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I was... I was busy! Oh. Yeah. Whoops! Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so what are you saying? The Kavitis? But like, a even worse part of the Kavitis came down here and took this tree? We yes, got Kavitis. it certainly sounds like it. We got the Crystal Heart Gang, because she ordered the two things to stay here. Um, and I know the warehouse oh. where they're keeping the tree. Oh, you And the do. tree, oh. I think, is dying. Um, if we're planning on going after the Kavitis, we're going to need some backup and some yes. intel. Uh, I need to talk to Gam Gam. That's true. Strel, do you know where... Winona is. I don't have a great. I say That's great. That's fine. Noted. I know exactly I where she is. Okay. I remember Winona. I've yeah, been. We, uh, I, yeah. You can say I'm a little invested in their uh, in their plight, and uh, so I know exactly where they are. They are. Okay. Grand. Uh, I left. Then, a, I left a letter for Winona at the last place she was at, letting her know what I was up to, but. She scarfed off on on her ship. Um, and we but should... if you know where they are, then we should go there. I think we should also probably get a Roxy because she's been studying the blueprints, so she probably knows how to dismantle this thing. Oh, I know her. She was cool. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. very, she nice. very, very clever. Yeah, I like her. I, I, she doesn't strike me as the kind of person that would be able to put up with the. Mm. The tedium of academia, but she is really smart. I <sighs> have. She is too. All right, I guess Strel. I guess we can pick up Gam Gam and then go where Strel needs to go to first. It's already in the crease. Yeah. All right. <sighs> All right. We need to do more than one thing at once. Um. Uh, Mirish, you for sure need to go and chat with Or. Um, I think I need to go and find Winona and hopefully find Senna as well. Um, oh, they'll absolutely be together. Promise. Oh yeah, that's that's they, what they I'm thinking. They can't get thinking. enough of each if, other. If, it's, if, yeah, it's if, gross. If, <laughs> is that a hint of envy I detect? <laughs> Not at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Roll insight, Aelin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 These are what the rolls are all about. Ah, ten. Mm, he said that mostly as a, you know, mostly as ribbing, but he's, 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 I think he's starting to, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who's to say? Yeah, <laughs> a Aelin doesn't care either which way. Um, but, <laughs> um, yes, Strel, uh, go with either me or Mirish, Rory, Tanya. Uh, yeah. I I'd mean, say go with go with Mirish, keep her safe, probably. Yeah, I... And then I think, we I can try... I think it's too late to try to stay out of this. Um, no, for try, sure. Try to pretend like I can... Um, Keep hiding. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Yes, we we uh, yes, get or get a Raxi. We are gonna have to go and break into another warehouse. I think. Should we should we meet back at the bakery when we get everybody? I think I think it's fairly it seems to be fairly safe as far as uh, I've been able to tell. All right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah. We'll see you guys at the bakery. We've never broken into okay. a warehouse before. That's gonna be fun. It's not hard. You <laughs> kick the door in it's, or jump through the window or Yeah, try it's and no big deal. Just... We will have plenty of people to back us up. These yeah, people are a little tell... unhinged, but it's fine. Yeah, we just don't maybe tell we won't them tell them who we are this names. time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <gasps> so you see this name? time they will need to know my name so they can clear it. Or kill you. That's not how that works. No, you know what? Let's first. just Let's let's move. Let's, let's move. Come on. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's okay. go. We don't have the time Is for this. Is this okay. where we're, I think we're, we're leaving the trees? <laughs> or yeah. Well, we have to get out together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. I think I think as soon as we as soon as we get out of the crease and out of the area the, out of the tunnels, I just like oh, yeah, back, I, essentially I backtracking, right? Yeah. You. Yeah. 
as best um, as the crease will allow you to backtrack. But, um, yeah. Mm. Let me get a survival roll from someone um, with advantage, because I'm assuming everyone will be helping them. Okay. Do it, Aelin. I've got I think that's two on, on survival. I also have two. Negative okay. one. Uh, I'll let Mirish roll it. Alright. Because I rolled the last one. You got this. <laughs> Just kidding. You you, yeah. you don't got this. <laughs> I used to my you RNG. Got this? <laughs> Um, oh no! Why don't you? Guys? So that just that just means it's going to take you guys time. It's going to yeah. take you guys um, a lot longer to find your way out than it did to find your way in. Um, and so by the time you emerge um, into Krennel, obviously, like with the shell overhead, still it's not like the sun is beating down on you, but um, looking out towards. Uh, the sea where uh, the light does shine down on the city, you can tell that it's like uh, well past midday. Mm. Um, it's been hours at this point since you all awoke. Mm. Oh, right. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Yeah, um, yeah. okay. I'm gonna just, I, we just gotta run. Um, I am uh, gonna run. Let's run. Yeah. Can everybody I, okay. Okay. Can I the apply... Way. Or can I have applied disguise to Rory? Is that a thing I can do with my disguise doofa? You have a disguise kit? Uh, I think I do. Let me double check. Or like check. disguise tools or something that you have proficiency with? I oh. for sure do. Not that I'm good at it. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've got the disguise spell. I think that only oh, works disguise on me. Self. Let me. Yeah, let me check real quick. Uh, yeah, you've disguised self. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I can't do that. It would just be you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just me. I mean, I'll I can try and doll up Rory, but I, I I'll, still I'll, wouldn't I'll be just, keen to do so. I'll just do this the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that would probably do you better than if Strel tried to, like... <laughs> Like, I imagine you, you, I get, like, bright colors, very, like, floofy sleeves, and it'd be like, this is... <laughs> I remember just looking the, at me. The, the, yeah, you'd look like Aelin. <laughs> just the exact <laughs> opposite of what you want. Oh my god. Um, All right, let's get moving. So as you guys head in these different directions, um, Strel and Aelin, you guys are going off to find Senna and Winona and Araxi. Which I believe uh, they all are at the Salty Sail? I think so. Oh, okay. I, uh, I wanted to have a quick interaction with Aelin before he left. Sure. Um, so right right before we're splitting up, I'm like, Aelin, Aelin, hold up, hold up. Sure, no, what, what's up, what's up? Um, well, you helped us a lot last time when we were going through the tunnels and, you know, with the weird noises and stuff, and I figured you were wearing that Hawaiian shirt that was absolutely hideous, and I thought maybe you would like a different shirt, so I went, uh, I went and I went to look for a new shirt for you, and, and I, I give him, like, a little bundled package oh. with a t-shirt that, Thank you um, so much. I mean, the Hawaiian shirt is supposed to look terrible. It makes people uh, makes people underestimate me. But thank you so it's, much. It's try it on, and it's it's totally not Aelin. It's hideously hip. Um, what, and if what I color have to, is it? well, that's the thing. So the torso part is just regular black, and mm -hmm. then there's two different colored sleeves. One is bright yellow, and the other one's bright pink. And then both on the front and the back, it says Aelin in rhinestones. Oh, God. But bless Beautiful. you. <laughs> oh, God. Try it on. Does it fit? Aelin tries it on real quick. Uh, it's, oh, it's a little, it's a little <laughs> tight around the arms. Roll but for it's fit. otherwise pretty okay. <laughs> Roll for fit. Nice. <gasps> Nice. I'm not going to wear God, this now. That sounds but thank you so, so much. Awful. You're welcome. <laughs> and and Maris is just delighted with the fact he's, that he he's, put he's, it on. And a, yeah, Aelin is 100% going to hang this up on his wall. It's, it's 10 out of <laughs> As, like, 10. Out of 10. He's not going to wear it. He's going to hang it. You have not, to wear not, it. Not immediately. Not immediately. 
but uh, it'll make you so unstealthy. Yeah, yeah I mean, he can't yeah, maybe, wear it. Maybe don't wear it to, to the warehouse. warehouse. Yeah, we just yeah. had a discussion about not announcing who you are. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's, I just wanted to. I just wanted to do that real quick. That's so precious. And and so, Mirishin goes on a merry way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the good thing about Rory's disguise is that you guys are in Krennel, heading to a different location in Krennel, which isn't really uh, occupied. It's, yeah. So yeah, we're, st we're still in like a safe area. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. It's not going to really be a problem at all for you. Um, when you get to uh, the salty sail. Australia, I want to know what you're going to tell. Uh, I guess whether you're going to try to talk to Senna or Winona primarily, what you're going to tell I, them. I would talk to Winona first because um, MGL uh, Senna scares the crap out of Aelin. He respects her as a as a professional, but she's also really intimidating, and he is not on like a familiar basis with Senna, so he's gonna go through Winona. Uh, contrary to uh, to Aelin, I would have gone right to uh, to Senna and would have told her everything, uh, especially about yeah. her her brother being uh, where he is. And, yes. Uh, yeah. And, I would. You know, would have told giving her that Winona. tactical advantage. Yeah, told Winona um, the deets, uh, particularly about how um, her girlfriend's brother is in on attempting to resurrect a long dead god, probably kill most of the city, and cause all manner of havoc. And particularly the thing that when uh, I'm assuming. Tanya told us this about being nearby the heart of this thing to gain all its power. That worries him immensely. Mm. It is worrisome. So, yep, I can see why. I mean, um, Strel wouldn't have talked about any of the magic stuff because she doesn't know shit at all about that, but she would have talked about uh, the community yep. <laughs> being involved. All right. So, um, oh, and she would have mentioned he would have mentioned to Winona the Creaseborn lady and the Dark Elf as well. Mm. Creepy Dark Elf, that 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 guy. And I want to be there for that conversation. So I think maybe we'll have it on October twenty third. Uh, I think that this might be the perfect time to uh, draw close to our session today. Goodness gracious. I am so hyped. I'm so hyped. Oh, all so coming good. together. The gang. All coming together. All coming together. I'm gonna cry again. Oh, <laughs> don't no, cry because you're gonna make me cry. Gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna cry too. Ritual hug. <laughs> um, a lot of feels this episode. Goodness. So many. Yeah. At least three. Thanks for thanks for coming on my emotional adventure journey with me. Uh, I guess it's not really my adventure. I've sort of put the toys in the sandbox, and you guys have built uh, feelings out of them. <laughs> <laughs> sandbox feelings. Yeah, yeah sandbox for which I will be eternally grateful. Um, Somebody thanks. came and stomped on the castles. Yeah, we we built feelings, and then you guys squished them. You know, this whole channel has step on me energy, so <laughs> oh, stepping on feelings is just part of the, you know, it just comes with, with the territory. Wow. Chat, do you feel like you need to be stepped on? We're here for you. It, it did, no. <laughs> Stop. Karma <laughs> is here. Stop it. Snack said it. I was just. Oh my God. All right. Uh, reiterating. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> again for everybody who uh, has joined us in chat and all these good things um uh a few other people who we should fully mention uh contributors to the show um the sweet intro was crafted by um graphical genius think southpaw the uh animated overlays and our brb screens 
uh, and uh, just sort of the entire visual presentation of the show is a collaboration between myself and Dapper Dame. And the music is um, almost entirely from the awesome uh, synthwave artist Thunder Porpoise Music, who's also a member of uh, some of our Twitch communities. So. Um, huge thanks to them and to the players as well. If you guys would indulge me, I'd love for you to introduce yourselves and um, tell everyone a little bit about who you are and what you do. Uh, I guess maybe I'll just go on the overlay and start top left with Astacon. Hi, hello. Hi, Astacon. I've been your nerdy elf um, rogue, Aiden Roadshield, for you today. It has been a pleasure to hop back into the deliberately unfashionable um, <laughs> deliberately unfashionable archaeologist uh, and general shenanigan meister that is that is Aelin. Um You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Astacon, Twitter, Astacon TM, um, and SoundCloud slash Astacon as well, where you can listen to some of the music I write. Uh, mostly I'm doing Elite Dangerous on my stream, occasional art and other bits as well if I feel like it. I run um, the Commander Show, which will be happening tomorrow, with Taco Trash Can just here, who will also be um, also be on Commander, um, and that happens on this channel at seven. Uh, and yeah, that's 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 what I get up to. Awesome! Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. I guess I'm next. I'll just go. I'll just go clockwise. Um, mm -hmm. I'm local underscore snack underscore preferences on Twitch. This is um, the strange world that I've cooked up, and it's been uh, just the privilege of a lifetime to be able to have everybody come together and help me bring it uh, to to real life and to sort of play around in it. It's like one of the funnest things that I've done. I am a very, very occasional uh, and unscheduled streamer, but when I am live, there is um, gameplay, different random games sometimes. I like uh, Elite Dangerous and Hades, but mainly illustration is what happens, and sometimes we give away Pokemon cards. Um, but yeah, that's every once in a while. So you can feel free to stop by. Uh, how about Dragners? Yeah, um, I'm Dragners, Kyle. Um, I mean, I'm, I've been playing Rory, aka Edge. Um, always a lot of fun to jump back in his shoes and try to <laughs> figure out what his deal is. Um, and you can find me on twitch.tv slash Dragners. I do a lot of streaming of like three days a week of just like tons of different games, mostly just like to hang out and, and have good vibes and have go good wholesome chats and fun things. Um, and you can find me in uh, Dragners other places too, like Twitter, Instagram, that kind of thing. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. It's your cool new shades. With my cool new shades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, the movie I, I magic. Actually... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> did, yeah, did you guys like that? Like me pulling up the shades because I didn't look at chat. Was was so I don't know if there's any reaction. That, that was brilliant. I, I legitimately it. bought these glasses. It like, oh yeah, so these good. would be good for Rory. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, Zara Zodiac. Um. Hi. My name is Zara Zodiac. Uh, I've been kicking butts uh, as Marish in your name uh, today for you. And you can find me pretty much every Wednesday from now on uh, on this channel as well as Dakmar in uh, Dark Water, uh, Dark Tide, wa Rising Waters. Got it. Um, and <laughs> Moist <laughs> nighttime can... show. Dank water tides. <laughs> Um, yeah. You can mm, also bloody. find me over on uh, twitch.tv slash Zodiac. Uh, that's my name pretty much anywhere else. Uh, I play mostly Oblivion right now, but basically any game you can imagine because I make this silly promise to play every game I own. So you're very welcome to join me there as well. So yeah. You very much should join her there. Uh, Stacy. Hi, everyone. I'm Stacy the Linguist, and if you couldn't tell, I'm a linguist. I'm a big fat nerd bird um, who comes on to Twitch and talks about linguistics as a science. So I uh, mostly, when I stream and when tech goblins aren't eating up my life, uh, I'll talk about science, but we also do music and sometimes coloring, and sometimes if my computer lets me, uh, we'll play games. Um, but yeah, that's me, Stacy the Linguist. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Stacy the Linguist. You can also find me on Instagram, and that's about it. I'm not on a whole lot of socials. It's true. You can't tag her on Twitter. It's messed up. 
Yeah, no, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> what? Taco. Right yes, as you take a drink. I, yep, <laughs> right as I took a drink. Impeccable. I know. I was like, I was like, I'm really parched, but I bet he's gonna call me mum and I drink. Oh, okay, well, anyways. Hi, I'm Taco Trash Can. I have the absolute pleasure of playing Tanya today, obviously. Um, and I will be on Commander tomorrow playing Illy. Um, and um let me see, you can find me on uh Twitch dot Taco Trash Can. Just type Taco Trash Can into the search bar and I will be the only person, I promise you. Um, and then click that follow button and uh, I'll be streaming this Monday for a uh, Daybreak and Commander recovery room. So if you want to rant at me or talk theories with me about what's coming up next, then uh, just uh, come on by. Absolutely, yeah. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to lurking in that stream and just writing down everybody's notes for what they think is happening, so that I know what should happen. And <laughs> yeah. In, in <laughs> oh, that would be awful. <laughs> I hope it's not that. That would be terrible if that happened. <laughs> Let me just make sure it happens. We won. <laughs> no, no, also, no, 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 no. You also, lose. too, y'all like how y'all like how uh, Snack was like, "I'm gonna kill your character. I'm gonna kill you," and then I was just. I'm gonna die at the end of this. Anyways. I was laughing a, the other I'm day. Asticon was like, it. which one of us is gonna be the first to kill a character? I was like, I did it in February. <laughs> I killed a character before we even knew all the characters. Yeah. I was like, mm. <laughs> wow. Yes, Brutal. let's, let's yeah. find out who does it first. Can't wait to see. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, mainly, thank you to everybody who's joined us tonight, um, watching the show and cheering us on and everything thank like you. that. That makes it a um, hundred times more thank funner. You, IMO. Uh, Are kids do it these days? Yeah. This what's the kids do a heart. The... <laughs> wait, what? Is it like that? Uh, there's so many. There's Is so many options. The... This is how the teens do it these yeah, days? Yeah, I'm not fl I'm not flexible enough young? to maintain There's, that. I'm getting too like, old. I, I could have sworn there was like a TikTok thing where they do like this. Uh huh. It probably, probably is. We're probably all very is. old. Do you have any teens in chat who can confirm? <laughs> teens in the chat? Any of your youths can <laughs> inform us. Teens in the chat. Teens in the chat. We're gonna find somebody. We're gonna find somebody to raid. If you guys would come with us and share the positivity as we go raid that person, whoever they are, I'm sure will be a wonderful human being. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got raid text free to copy as well to just go make a whole mess of whatever they're doing. Big old friendly interruption. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Again, thanks for all for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow for Commander, Wednesday for Dark Tide Rising Waters, and on the 23rd for episode seven of eight mm. of Daybreak City Nights. Crazy! So excited. Ah. All the best ways.